Welcome back, fifth graders. I'm back to show you a little bit more about plate boundaries and the way they move. In the last video, I showed you divergent plate boundaries. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how plates come together, and we call that convergent. Right. Well, um, when we have plates that are coming together, like at the border of an ocean and a continent, we know that the ocean plate, if you listen to my last video um, about, or I'm sorry, Mr. Wagaman's video about the convergent plate boundaries, the oceanic plate is denser than the continental plate. So right now I have two identical graham crackers, and, and we know that the ocean plate is not the same as the continental plate. The continental plate is much larger and less dense. So I, I have here a cup of water. I'm just going to soak it a little bit to make this graham cracker, graham cracker a little softer and less dense by dissolving some of the sugars away. And that's going to give us the result that we want. So let me just go ahead and dip it into the water to make this continental plate a little bit less dense. Okay. And now I'm going to place it back on my mantle, my Cool Whip. And if you pay attention, as these plates come together, because we're talking about a convergent plate boundary, when two plates converge, you're going to notice that the ocean plate is going to subduct or go under the continental plate. Now pay attention closely as these plates come together. All right, so come on in close and let's take a look at my two plates here. When we see the ocean plate, it has dipped under, if you come down lower, it has dipped under the continental plate because the ocean plate is much more dense. By soaking it in the water, it represents the continental plate, which is less dense than the ocean plate. So the ocean plate pushed under and subducted, and look what happened to my continental plate. It buckled and turned into this mountain range, and our ocean plate dipped under and is going to begin melting in my mantle. And if you remember, when the ocean plate subducts under the continental plate, it melts in the mantle and causes magma shoots that eventually come up and break through my less dense crust and turn into a volcano. And out from that volcano comes the magma, which turns into lava. So at this border, at this fault, I should say, of this plate boundary, we have mountains, we have volcanoes, we have earthquakes, and we even sometimes can see a little trench in here that dips down. If I turn this plate down more, we actually can start to see a trench formed as well. So again, here we have a convergent plate boundary where the two have come together and you have seen all four things that can occur at a convergent plate boundary. Pay attention to the next view where we're going to see some plates transform or slide against each other. 